a little while ago I made a video saying, you know, would a Caucasian Hawkman um, cause problems for Warner Brothers PR wise? Because, you know, Hawkman has multiple lives and reincarnations and in one of them he was like an Egyptian king, an Egyptian ruler. But it looks like, well, we have no reason to worry about that anyway, right? Because they've cast Aldous Hodge to be Hawkman. I mean, some of the articles say in talks, but, you know, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock himself, who's playing Black Adam, you know, posted on Instagram, um, and so did, all, like, talking to Aldous Hodge, basically saying this guy is our Hawkman. And I think this is great. I mean, Aldous Hodge, I've seen him, I saw him in The Invisible Man, he has, like, the physicality to play Hawkman, um, and I don't have a problem with them race-bending the role. I mean, at least differently than what he looks like in most of the comics. I mean, Hawkman, because he reincarnates through many different lives and many different cultures, technically, you could hire a man of any skin color ethnicity to play Hawkman, um, if you think about it, because, you know, it's different lives, different looks, you could say. But um, all this Hodge is a departure from the way Hawkman is typically drawn and colored in comics, which a lot of people, or maybe some people, might have a problem with. But that'll go away, because it'll basically be like the Journey Small of Black Canary situation. I mean, they race bend at that character and people had problems, but, uh, you know, that eventually fell away. I know um, Birds of Prey had some problems, but it wasn't because of Journey Smollett's casting. It was just because of the way that movie was made. Um, so I think this is great. I mean, I am curious, you know, Aldous Hodge is an up and coming actor. So I do wonder, you know, are they going to maybe try to give him, if Hawkman takes off and Black Adam's a hit, might they try to spin him off into his own HBO Max series or movie? They could, or they could just keep him as, you know, a supporting character in a Justice Society movie and just keep him as that and not give him his own spinoff movie because not everybody gets their own spinoff movie these days. But I think that it's possible that he, like many other DC characters, may get HBO Max shows because, you know, DC and HBO Max, they need content. Marvel, like over on Marvel and Disney+, Plus, they seem to be giving like every Marvel hero an HBO Max show who doesn't have his or her own movie. So I would not be surprised if DC starts doing the same with multiple characters on HBO Max in the future, um, including Hawkman and probably several others, if my hunch is right. And they could do it with Hawkman. I mean, Hawkman has had multiple, you know, comic book series. So there's enough content and inspiration for them to go to to support a show, a series. The Hawkman casting announcement certainly did get people talking online as it started to trend in the top 10 Twitter trends in the United States, um, which is pretty big because Hawkman is kind of like a lesser known superhero, but he was able to crack the top 10 with this casting announcement. Hawkman is someone a lot of people were waiting for anyway. Like there were all these rumors, you know, this guy's gonna be playing Hawkman, that guy's gonna be playing Hawkman before. Um, and we had thought that they were going in a different direction in terms of what the character would look like. So that either means that those rumors were wrong or somewhere in the casting process, you know, Dwayne Johnson's production team decided they wanted to change things and have the character look different, like Aldous Hodge. But I welcome Mr. Hodge in the role. I think that he and the character of Hawkman could do great on screen. Great things on screen. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.